Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early. We're going to go over Bitcoin price targets, some of the alpha in the marketplace right now. Starting it off with some meme coins. Why is that? Well, this is the best performing assets in crypto land over the last year. Um, Bitcoin up 142%. Notice what's in the lead here, guys. It's meme coins. You got dog with hat. You've got Bonk and you've got Pepe. Apparently, Dog with Hat is where all the money was to be made this year. Meme coins and culture are important. So we're gonna jump into that first. I will um, give you a little alpha here on Bitcoin as, once again, I think a couple things to review here. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my old chart. I'm gonna add the moon phases and just, once again, uh, well, it, the, the, the bull moon was yesterday, okay? And BLX is a day behind because it is the index price, the index price of all the Bitcoins around the world. And needless to say, uh, bull moon, bear moon, bull moon, bear moon, it's, very, uh, it's been very successful. So why not buy on the bull moon? Here at 66,000, we are approaching uh, the second target up there at about 76,000. And where does that line up with? Well, if you use that FIB tool, it is just shy of the 1618 FIB. So not super good confluence here. In fact, I do think if we do close any kind of a daily bank above 71.8, I'd be leaning towards a $78,000 target. In fact, you could front run that signal with any kind of a daily closure back above 67.8. Um, that is the good old 618 FIB. Um, what else did I want to bring up on a Bitcoin here? Um, here's what I want to bring up on the BLX index. I'm going to get rid of the moon phases and the Bitcoin production cost. Production cost of Bitcoin, Bitcoin production cost. We talked about this before the halving. We said, hey, look, after the halving, what's going to happen to the production cost? Well, it's going to go from $30,000 to where? Oh, production cost is still at $30,000. What's going on here? Likely it's going to rise. Uh, apparently production cost is somewhere around $70,000 now. But uh, I want to see that red line go up. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to see if any other chart is going to populate this information. No, I don't want the AI tab. I want to see uh, BTC USD on, let's see, Coinbase. Coinbase going to give it to us? Nope. Nope. Apparently not. Apparently the production cost has not shifted yet, but what does the green line represent? What does the green line represent? That is the price of Bitcoin. Hmm. You know, there is a, um, close plus transaction fee, plot production and energy cost curves. I'll have to get back to you unconfirmed rumor that uh, Bitcoin production cost now up at $70,000. Um, that was the rumor on the street, but it's not populating on the chart yet. So could we be a day or two behind perhaps? But uh, if you look at all the past prior Bitcoin halvings, in fact, after the halving, the production cost of Bitcoin doubles in price, doubles in price. And I'll just give you one last example here. How many days after the halving? Was it April 20th, 2020? Let's Google it. When was the last Bitcoin halving? When was the last Bitcoin halving? What day? What day was it? Okay, how about the one before that? It was on April 20. Uh, when was the 2020 Bitcoin? Happen? 
May 11th. By the end of the... May 11th. So I need to uh, adjust that little chart there. May 11th. So for charting purposes, May 11th was the day. Interesting. So the red line did pop up quite a bit there from 4,000 to 8,800. Why isn't our red line popping up? I'd say we give it another day here, guys. And then, and then production cost should go up. Anyways, back on to the chart. Just checking in on CMEs real quick. It is not going to populate on the CME, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the moons, or I'll just leave it on silent. But um, we are popping off the green 55. Um, as we approached it with declining volatility, Bitcoin has now created a buy signal. Stochastics are turned up on the daily time frame for CMEs. And volatility is, uh, well, when it begins to decline, we are losing the exponential there. You would expect price to go in the opposite direction of the expansion. So volatility was expanding here as price uh, went down. Expansion as price went down and now contraction uh, we should get a mean reversion of the price. And that's where we're at. We're right in the middle of the range, right? Right in the middle of the range. So what's uh, the likely thing to happen with earnings coming out here and the stock market pumping and, well, pumping, it's just making a, a massive higher low. And if you ask me, I still think our long-term target for the stock market is intact. I think we're gonna remain in a bit of a bull market here for the rest of the year. Why is it? It's an election year, guys. It's an election year. So do we get down a little bit lower to meet that target? Interesting. 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 Maybe it does have a gap fill. Um, I don't foresee it happening right now. In fact, if you look at the VIX, the VIX, uh, which is the volatility index. Let's take a look, quick look at the VIX. Hit a 20 read. And uh, as long as it's below 20, well, it hasn't uh, stayed above 20 since, you know, way back over here uh, for multiple closures on the daily time frame. That was back in March of 2023. So here we are a couple years later, a couple years later. But in general, the way this thing works is when the VIX goes up, stocks go down, vice versa. When the VIX goes down, stocks go up. Who's coming out with, oh, 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 who did I want to bring up today? So this is pretty funny. So Ansem on Twitter, like one of the uh, number one meme coin callers. And again, back to the meme coins. Meme coins, you got to pay attention to them. Why? They're the number one performers over the last year. So why not take a look? This guy, uh, Ansem, <laughs> had a fight at uh, the Dubai conference. Something. And anyways, I think if you're going to put your money on a meme coin, this is the coin. This is it. This is it. Tucker Carlson. Friends, please join me in a moment of silence for crypto Twitter's latest punching bag, Ansem. <laughs> I'm happy to confirm that he's taking things on the chin. <laughs> in fact, we're delighted to have an exclusive for you. This... Our first ever edition of Raw Beef, the best of crypto Twitter, the man of the hour, if you can actually call him that. Hi, I'm Ansem. I'm a crypto influencer and data male. And today, I'm going to be reading out some mean tweets. Let's do this. Ansem trading crypto versus Ansem in the ring. I guess that one's pretty accurate. Watching the Ansem fight be like... Anyways, you're going to have to check out the link and uh, subscribe to the channel to watch the whole thing. They've got a ton of hilarious. Look, they had an exclusive interview with Donald Trump. I'm playing it on fast forward, by the way, just so we can get through it really quick. Um, and then I've got to go to a meeting. I think I might have played this yesterday. 
So the whole idea behind this thing is that he's going to, you know, Tucker Carlson is going to interview the funny, um, the funny meme coins, the funny meme coins and give out information to give an idea on the Tucker price. The Tucker price right now is relatively, well, it, it's, it's low. It's low. In fact, on the daily time frame. It is attempting to put in a bounce off the 21, which would be a convenient place for a meteoric bounce. Um, additionally, if you look at this on a closing basis, it looks like a double bottom. Two taps to the 618 with a higher low on the 15 minute time frame is exactly what you want to see for a reversal. So, again, you know, high risk, high reward. $50 million, $57 million market cap. Uh, to give an idea uh, in comparison here, for the number one meme coin this year, so 50 million market cap, which I don't see why anything in the political sphere right now should attract a lot of attention, especially, I mean, we'd be very early getting on the train on this one at a $50 million market cap, but any, um, so dog with hat, which I think is way stupider meme that has no, like no, there's no YouTube channel. There's no interviewing other meme coins. There's no anything. It's just a picture of a dog with a hat. And that's the whole point of memes in fact, but you can see this is a $3 billion market cap. So to give an idea, if uh, Mr. Tucker Carlson went to a $3 billion market cap, I don't know, you divide that, uh, 1 billion or what's 1 billion divided by 50 million simple math here chris 1 billion divided by 50 million and then we'll times it by three big number here so uh, apparently that'd be about a 20x from where we're at today. Um, the meme coins of last cycle were Mr. Dogecoin. Doge, which really isn't a meme anymore. Doge is more the hope for Twitter. The hope for Twitter uh, to and you can see it's always made a new all-time high. Every bull market, all-time high, all-time high. Uh, made it to 70 cents amidst uh, Elon Musk. Anyways, that's $23 billion meme coin. Uh, Doge and Sheeb. Notice the dogs. Dogs get all the love here. Shiba Inu coin. I mean, how stupid is this, right? But it looks like it's holding up at the moment. Well, it is a much lower high, in fact than the prior all-time high, but I think everything's doing that, but it's a $15 billion market cap, so still much larger than Dog With Hat. And the last one to take a look at when it comes to memes is Mr. Pepe the Frog, which is a $3 billion market cap. So um, are we early? Does Donald Trump uh, end up interviewing I mean, just even imagine after the politics, like even after the election, after all the fraud that's going on, you know, how do we know we're going to get a free and fair election? I don't know. In fact, I really don't know. Uh, but last thing I want to bring up here is if you want to join our Trade Signals group and, um, you know, all you got to do is become a member of Crypt Courses and we're going to show you how to, you know, start making some trades on one of our new preferred exchanges called Blowfin. Um, I am, I'm going to be leaving Mexi for Blowfin as they're going to be a referral partner. Blowfin. Let's see if I can pull them up here. We'll put a referral link. Um, a referral link in the description below. And um, yeah, this is it. You can see here, uh, you got a funding account, a spot account and a futures account. This is a decentralized exchange requiring no KYC. You can buy spot, you can buy futures. And this is 
the way of the future, guys. This is the way of the future. Highly, highly recommend you check them out. Sign up for the account with a link in the description below. Okay, now um, I guess I'm going to go over a couple of these uh, trade signals. Um, and, you know, just to show, I mean, they don't always work out, right? They don't always work out, but um, hopefully a few of them do. Uh, I'm not going to give them all away for this is, uh, here's one right here. That uh, absolutely blew through the uh, take profits there. Aptos uh, looks like it is coming for the stop loss. I would actually, in fact, consider this a buying opportunity. Any kind of a wick below here, uh, I would consider a buying opportunity. Um, XRP, how's that one doing? Already hit TP2. Uh, Sandbox, already hit TP1, TP2. Ethereum Classic, uh, about to hit TP2. EOS, uh, looking good for a little bit more of a run. Um, but make sure you join us at Crypt Courses. Uh, there's a link in the description below there, and then you get access to the VIP Discord. All right, I think that is it for today. We covered the memes, we covered Bitcoin, we covered uh, Crypt Courses, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.